Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial featuring Nuance's application Dragon Anywhere. In particular we're going to be looking at Dragon Anywhere's integration with the popular note-taking app Evernote. But before I get started I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos in mind for this year, so those of you who have subscribed will be able to be notified when new videos are released. So thanks again and looking forward to keeping in touch with all of you through future tutorials. So as far as Evernote integration, you can see in the sidebar when you first get started, you actually need to link whether it's Dropbox, which I'll talk about in just a moment, or today's focused Evernote. Um, as far as Dropbox, I have linked Dropbox and I have tried using Dragon Anywhere with Dropbox, but I have had many issues with weird uh, interface things where documents appear and disappear, ultimately appearing, but then disappearing when I make a save. So I'm parking that to one side. I want to look into that a little bit more completely. Uh, and uh, in a bit more depth. But if any of you out there are actively using Dropbox and Dragon Anywhere and you're syncing the two and it's working beautifully, please let me know by notifying me in the comment section below this video tutorial because I'm very interested in seeing if others have experienced the same things that I've been experiencing. But as far as Evernote, I've noticed really, really solid results, at least so far. So that's why I thought I would start with uh, that integration today and uh, share that with folks. But the thing that you're going to need to do first is, if you don't already, you're going to need to create an account uh, on Evernote so that you can link that account to your Dragon Anywhere application. I already have done that. Uh, what I, all I really need to do is just link this application to my Evernote account. So to do that, I'm just going to follow the prompts that Dragon Anywhere provides. It's pretty standard. If you've linked any other iOS application to a cloud service or other application or service, it's really no different. Uh, the steps are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to tap link to Evernote. It's going to first ask if I want to uh, definitely do this, link my Evernote account with my Dragon Anywhere account. And at the bottom, I have the option to link those accounts. And then it's going to ask if I want to authorize Dragon Anywhere to access my Evernote account which I say yes. <laughs> I do have choices for those that don't know. If you pop up this menu option, you can authorize this handshake between Dragon Anywhere and Evernote for a week, 30 days, or a year, or even as short as a day. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the year option and say reauthorize. And when it's finished, what happens is it takes me back. You can see we're actually now in the Evernote section of Dragon Anywhere. And instead of saying link to Evernote, it now just says Evernote. That's kind of a visual confirmation that the two accounts have been, uh, have formally handshaked and are now syncing between each other. I, well, I went ahead in, in, in advance and created a just a, a, a template document uh, not using Dragon Anywhere, uh, and there's a reason. I wanted to see if I could create a document or have a document already saved in the Dragon Anywhere notebook in Evernote, uh, and will it automatically pull that in and synchronize? And the answer is yes. Um, so a couple things. You can see, again, I just created, using some lorem ipsum text, uh, an already created document in Evernote, and it pulled it right in. Now, some things to, to mention about that. Um, what happens is, is if you are using, or if you are integrating Dragon Anywhere and Evernote for the first time, you will not have in Evernote a Dragon Anywhere notebook. Those of you that use Evernote and are familiar with Evernote's uh, notebook layout or organization, I'm just going to switch to Evernote now, and you will see, in fact, 
that we are in a notebook called Dragon Anywhere. Dragon Anywhere will create that notebook if it doesn't exist when you go through that linking process. So in this case, that notebook is there. I had previously linked these two accounts and then unlinked. That's why I was able to have this document already in a notebook titled Dragon Anywhere. But as I said, if this is a first time for you, um, you can do this in an integrative link, so to speak, and then uh, either move documents, text documents from other notebooks into this Dragon Anywhere if you want those documents to be able to be accessed from Dragon Anywhere and then you know picking up inside of Dragon Anywhere that particular document and continuing and dictate and continue adding text to that document. I hope that makes sense. Um, but anyway, so this is a... Uh, prefab document that I had created uh, inside that Dragon Anywhere notebook. And if we flip back to Dragon, what I can show is by simply tapping and activating the record function, I'm going to be able to continue to add to this document and you will see how it dynamically syncs between Evernote and Dragon Anywhere and vice versa. So first we're going to take this already created document and add some text to it. So I'm going to turn on the record option. New paragraph. This is text that was created inside Dragon Anywhere, period sync to Evernote. Okay, what you just saw is that I activated the record option, spoke the sentence, this is text that was created inside Dragon Anywhere, period, and then I used the verbal command sync to Evernote. Dragon Anywhere knows by using that phrase, sync to Evernote, it knows to interpret that as a request to sync where you are in this document or this document to Evernote. If you don't want to use the verbal command, you can simply tap up in the top right corner. There is a share sheet, as it's called in iOS, and there is an option to trigger that same request non-verbally by simply tapping sync to Evernote. And you saw once that synchronization is complete, there was a, a confirmation in the middle of the screen that, that confirmed that that document was synced to Evernote. So just to see for sure that that was uh, the case, I want to flip back to Evernote and you can see automagically the phrase that I spoke is now uh, added to the document in the Dragon Anywhere notebook inside of Evernote. I can actually continue in this document uh, and I'm just going to say I am continuing to edit this document. and close my keyboard. Evernote is fairly speedy in terms of synchronization. That should have probably already have been synced to uh, the cloud version. I switch back here. Sometimes what I notice is if that document is already open, I'm not going to see any changes. But if I go back, turn on Evernote, and go back in, it gives it the opportunity to go out, get the most current version in Evernote, and then repopulate that version inside of Dragon Anywhere. So it's a little bit of an extra tap or two, but it makes sure that you are using the most uh, current version uh, of the document that you're working on. One of the things that I notice are these text differences. Uh, there may be a way inside of Evernote to share the same typography that you have set up inside of Dragon Anywhere so that there isn't the need to either in Dragon Anywhere or vice versa in, in uh, Evernote update the text uh, so that everything is in sync. 
Again, I'm not sure what most people's use case would be or workflow would be, but in terms of capturing ideas and just getting that idea down or getting a block of text in, you can always finesse it uh, later and style and format it as, as you need to in whatever the final uh, application of choice that you're going to use to share the, the document that you have been working on. But there's just a real quick... Uh, illustration of how you can work from Dragon Anywhere uh, in and uh, you know work with an already existing do document inside Evernote and be able to uh, share back and forth between the two. I also want to show it is just as easy uh, to go back out to the main file listing of those documents that are synchronized between Evernote and Dragon anywhere and choose to create a new document. And if I, I'm just going to go ahead and use Dragon Anywhere's dictation options for creating a blank or basically going from a blank document to a document that features features dictated text uh, using Dragon Anywhere. So here we go. Go to title. Evernote document. New field. Undo. Go to next field. This is an example of a document that was created inside Dragon Anywhere, period. Sync to Evernote. Now, we have finished the first steps of creating a document, but this is really cool. What happens if you are creating a brand new document that does not already exist in Evernote or doesn't already exist inside Dragon Anywhere's Evernote section? You are seeing the basic template that is probably very familiar f as far as users of Evernote that you have the option of as uh, is pretty obvious here that it's going inside the notebook dragon anywhere I can add tags now I need to do that manually I can't use uh, dictation at least I'm not aware of a way to add those tags uh, as you're creating the document inside dragon anywhere but um, you know I can just simply type whatever it is that I want for a tag add additional tags as needed and you can see here is our document. And uh, since we have added, uh, and it's new, and we've added some tags, we need to resync. And you can see in the upper right, there's the option to sync this again. And there we go. We get the confirmation that the document was successfully saved to Evernote. And if we flip on back to Evernote, we should in a moment see the document that we just created and in fact we do and if I tap it you can see that this is an Evernote document and it does have that that trailing footer created with nuance dragon anywhere which can be removed at any point so that gives you the back and forth uh, between Evernote and dragon anywhere and at least gives you a pretty good overview and hopefully a means of getting started using Evernote inside of Dragon anywhere and getting documents flowing back and forth between the two applications. If you have any questions or have any comments, by all means, leave them below this video. There's the option of leaving some comments and questions, and I will do my best to get back to folks as quickly as I can. But as I mentioned, um, you know, if you have experienced good things with Dropbox as the other service that is available uh, for linking Dragon Anywhere, um, uh, by all means, let me know. Um, and uh, I, I can at least share, again, the experiences that I've had, which have been pretty sketchy at best as far as Dropbox goes. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Um, but that's it for now, and, uh, per, and again, perhaps a future video will include my experience and I can illustrate some of the challenges I've, I've personally run into with Dropbox. But for now, this pretty much covers everything that I wanted to share initially regarding Evernote, and I want to thank everybody for watching, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Take care, everybody.